up is Will Fuller, number seven, against Mackenzie Alexander. We're talking about two guys that have bright, bright futures, and Alexander is following him at this point all over the field, whether he's on the left or the right, to the field or to the boundary. Now they're at the bottom of the screen on third down. Yeah, he's a brash shutdown corner. Teams rarely test. Him. And right now, this defense is assuming run on first and ten. It makes it tough on him up front. And they lose seven on first down, and now Kaiser delivers a strike, and a catch is made. Finally, they involve Will Fuller for the first time, added to 40, so it makes it third and manageable. By far the cleanest uniform on the field until that play right there. <laughs> he finally gets involved. He missed one on the last series. How about Kaiser hanging in the pocket just long enough to get that football out? He was a little bit late on the throw, and he finally finds Fuller to give a chance here, at least on third down. And with the second pass completed this season against the corner Mackenzie Alexander. Quarter game. It's a 60-minute game. We're going to stick to our game plan. Kaiser tried to get it to Fuller, and Mackenzie Alexander was all over him, and gives him a little wag of the finger. That's, that's part of his game, and not necessarily something that everybody loves about it. No, no, but it, it kind of fires him up, and he also likes to try to get to the head of the guy he's going up against, and he's going up against Will Fuller. This is the matchup, and he's kept Fuller quiet tonight so far. Was fearing another third and long against this Tiger defense. Bulwer shows pressure up the middle. They pick him up. Kaiser, another high throw over the head of Fuller. A flag coming down. Chris, I think Bulwer was in the neutral zone. But one thing I'm starting to see is Clemson's secondary moving after the snap and fooling Kaiser. He had a wide open Will Fuller that time because McKin McKenzie Alexander bailed. And he had a curl route for a first down, and he never even looked that way because he lined up the way he is right now in press and then bailed like he is now. There's a first down throw far side, way over the head of Fuller. That's exactly this time. I don't know if somebody sent a message in. McKenzie Alexander is showing press, and then as the ball is snapped, he's bailing, which means we have the underneath routes if we want them. He missed the last one on third down. That time he came back to him and just missed the throw. Get the thoughts of John Saunders, Mark May, and Matt Brown on this game. All the happenings on a busy Saturday. The BMW halftime report is coming up. Minute 29 till the break. Clemson had the Irish at third and ten. Two penalties gave them the first down. And they've now moved into Tiger territory. Let's see if Alexander does it again up here. That's a great matchup. Is he bail? Kaiser. Has the ball, goes downfield for Robinson, who makes a close to making the catch in his hands. He was running against Tankersley, and the Admiral's son has been nursing a knee, could not collect it. it. It would have been a great catch, but Chris, remember I talked about this? And also watch this down the middle of the field. This is part of being young and being a quarterback. They bring the blitz, and look right here how it breaks free, and look at this open man right there. These are things he already had locked in on Robinson. Robinson had a chance, but he had two wide open receivers. Hardest rain of the night. Two tight end look with Procise and Kaiser follows again over the head of Fuller who was closely covered by McKenzie who's, who's winning that one on one battle so far. Anyway. Yeah yeah and, and Heather touched on something there at the end of her report about the weather and just from up here you can tell it's like sheets now coming down rain with that wind right now they're they're facing that wind that's down there. Joe Montana came in here and introduced a fourth quarter comeback against Clemson. Deshaun Kaiser trying to do the same thing. Robinson's in motion. Fuller has the catch on the edge and has some blocks. And he's loose. Fuller swerving to the secondary down to the 11. When was the last time you watched Notre Dame football with this kind of speed on the perimeter with Chris Brown and Will Fuller both? I mean, you talk about yards after the catch. I'd love to look at that number in the second half alone tonight for Notre Dame. 23 yards as Fuller... Finally makes an impact in the Irish now.